Hey everyone, welcome back to DIY Designer Homestead. Just doing a quick little update here. You can see some happy chickens eating this morning as the sun is coming up. Um, so we've moved our chickens. They used to be over here where this thing is. Get to that in a second. Um, but we went out and harvested uh, some dead cedar trees, these things. Made a bunch of posts down here. So each of these, I've got three chicken yards here now, me and the the uh, the ranch hands, Josh and Scott. Um, so we've got three chicken yards uh, now that we're just completing. They're about 30 yards deep uh, down the hill back there. That way we can keep them on the go and always uh, eating fresh grasses and stuff and we can go in and plant uh, things as necessary after we move the chickens. So it gives us a little time to recover. I'm probably going to cut those in half. That gives us six little paddock areas. Um, that gives us uh, a lot more time to get things growing in there for the chickens to eat. The goal being to have enough natural food uh, growing in there all the time and keep them on the move uh, so they have plenty to eat uh, without us paying for food. I've got, uh, we've got three apple trees, one in each of these right now. Uh, we'll put in some blueberries and other berries and whatnot. So anyway, um, the little greenhouse action here, this was for the chickens uh, actually last winter, but now we're using it as an actual greenhouse. Those are tomato plants back there that are taller than me. Um, we've also got, uh, let's see on this side, back in this corner, some ginormous uh, jalapeno pepper plants doing really well. There's a ton of cucumbers in there. I got to finish tying them up. Uh, so that's what's going on there. This area is where the chicken yard used to be. We pulled out all the poles, took down all the fencing, um, and this is all going to become gardens that look a little bit like those back there. You can see those. Um, they're all hugel culture gardens. That's where I've talked about this before. It's where I dig basically what are what amounts to a grave and then I uh, go out in the woods and we haul out uh, a bunch of dead rotting having already dead fallen obviously uh, deciduous trees and put them in the, fill the hole with those and then smaller and smaller wood on top and then we use leaf compost which is amazing for gardens on top and that's what we plant in so there's no chemicals there's no fertilizer every year on the gardens we'll just add like another inch or two of uh, the compost, the leaf compost, and plant. And that's it. So super simple. Um, and then I've had a lot of you probably know that we raise some meat chickens, broilers. Uh, these are White Plymouth Rocks. Hard to see what they were. If you can see them in there. Hard to see them very well. This is, sorry, I mean, I'm wearing this stupid hat because uh, the deer flies are horrendous. They go to the top of my head. I like to keep them there. Um, so this is a chicken tractor. Um, we got a handful of these that we built. We have wheels. If you can see it, it's off right now, but we have wheels on the back. Um, so we use, uh, we use these to move the chickens around and they go across the lawn. So this area right here, this uh, chicken tractor, these chickens, there's about 25 of them in there. Um, it was here. It ran this whole stretch right here maybe two weeks ago, and you can see how it's already nicely greening up. But you can see, like, this is where they just were. They just destroy it. Uh, but they put down so much uh, nitrogen fertilizer. I'm actually utilizing the chickens to improve the soil, um, and we're going to do that in other, other areas around the property as well. Well, we already are. And uh, run chickens through there before uh, planting food plots for uh, deer hunting this fall. So. Uh, getting the getting the soil ready to go. They they used to spread spend spend spray chemicals and whatnot uh, as weed killer. We don't use any chemicals on anything here. No fertilizers. No weed killers. Just chickens um, and uh, proper plantings to help improve the soil. So, really, what I guess I would say I am as a soil farmer. I'm just making good soil from which everything else grows. So anyway, that's a quick update. Uh, we got lots of other projects here. Got to finish this. We moved all these rocks. Going to build a rock wall. Um, that'll be fun. Some of those things are like 300 pounds. Um, so yeah, we'll get that done. Uh, prepare all of these. This is going to be a bunch, oops, back here, a bunch of Hugo Culture Gardens uh, back here that we'll prepare and actually probably get some planted yet this year, but most of them will be ready for next year. So that's the plan. Uh, stay tuned for lots and lots of updates. Thanks.